Hello friends, I think it is no secret that leopards are very skilled predators and can hunt their prey two or even three times bigger than they are. God forbid one crosses your path. Many of us see this predator as a cute animal as we only see it in the zoo or on TV, but for the people of the Indian state of Gujarat, seeing this predator in the corner of your house is a very common occurrence, and when this happens, no one is safe. The leopard is a species of feline native to Africa and Asia. Like the tiger, the lion, the snow leopard, and the jaguar, it is considered one of the five big cats of the panther genus in Portuguese-speaking countries and is also informally known as the jaguar. These animals can measure from 1.3 to 1.7 meters long and can weigh between 30 and 90 kilos. Generally, females are smaller and measure approximately two-thirds of the male size. Their yellow fur is covered with small round black spots. Their long tail helps them to hold on if they are to climb trees or for their long runs at high speeds. When chasing prey, a leopard can reach an impressive 50 kilometers per hour. Some individuals, mainly in captivity, can reach 15 years of age. The leopard is a carnivorous animal, so it feeds on other animals. These wild animals are known for their agility in hunting. It is common for a leopard to use its strength to carry its prey to a tree where it could be safe and out of reach of other predators such as lions and hyenas. A leopard can carry animals up to six times heavier. Unfortunately, many leopards are killed by illegal hunters whose purpose is to sell their vulnerable skins and trade in underground markets around the world. This practice and the interference of man and his environment lead this powerful predator to be considered an endangered animal. Lack of food causes many animals to move into territories dominated by humans. They often end up killing goats, cows, and other animals for food. Our story today that happened in the early 2000s and led many people to believe that nature is not always as predictable as we would like to think. Believe me, you will definitely be surprised what happened before it all happened in July 2002. Residents of the Anatolian village began reporting frequent sightings of a leopard. A large female was seen in the sugarcane plantations near the village. From time to time, she would kill the goats of local residents and even dogs could not stop her as some of these dogs were attacked as well. Leopards with cubs often seek shelter and in crop fields because the tall plants make it easier for them to hide from the prying eyes of people and other animals. However, the threat in the form of the ferocious predator forced the villagers to take extreme measures. The locals were so afraid of the wild animal that the official authorities even organized an ambush and thanks to one of these traps managed to catch a female leopard near the village. A few days later, she was taken as far away from the village as possible and released into the forest. The complaints stopped for a while and everyone seemed to have calmed down. However, only a month later, people began to notice a predator again in the vicinity of the village. But this time, surprisingly, the villagers saw a much younger leopard than the previous one. They realized that this animal must be one of the cubs of the same female leopard they took into the forest long ago. When the animal rescue returned to the village, they heard a story that was hard to believe. The family living on the outskirts of the village had several cows on their farm and noticed that a young leopard was visiting one of them. The animal rescue obviously thought they were being fooled, but soon witnessed an incredible interaction between the dangerous predator and a common herbivorous cow. The leopard, which turned out to be a young male, came from the cane fields. However, the most amazing part was that, judging by the alert instincts, the cows must have sensed the leopard approaching long before it could be seen. When the leopard approached, even the strongest bulls were frightened to the point of trying to hide as far away as possible. Meanwhile, the cow was very calm, and they greeted the wild feline in a friendly manner. The leopard came over and rubbed up against the cow like a kitten and lay down next to her. So the cow lay down next to him. The leopard went to see the cow every night between 9 and 11 p.m. They spent time together. The cow even licks the leopard's head while they talk about something important. Observers even heard a cat purring and turning its belly well. Apparently, the cow was also nursing the leopard. It was very clear that this relationship was definitely of the mother and child type. The cow seemed to regard the leopard as her cub. 
and she saw herself as the leopard's mother. They were there for a while until the leopard left again. There was such a deep understanding between the two animals that the pair instantly became popular. Soon, the roof of the nearest house became known among photographers and onlookers who could not believe what was happening. However, it should never be forgotten that leopards are dangerous predators, so even if the village leader was not exactly a neighbor, he has my opinion that the leopard could find a child in one night, and it all could end badly. A decision was made to capture the animal and release it into the forest to follow its original mother. However, it turned out to be quite a challenging task. The leopard stubbornly refused to enter the cage with the bait. It was simply played around the whole time pretending to catch the goat that served as a trap. So the decision was made to put the leopard to sleep with a tranquilizer dart. However, to everyone's surprise, the predator disappeared before this plan could be implemented due to good reports of missing dogs coming in from neighboring villages. But the leopard remained elusive and the only place it still came to at night was only to the beloved cow. After the leopard disappeared again for several days or weeks, but always returned to visit the cow. In February 2003, the leopard came to see the cow for the last time as if to say goodbye. He stayed with her until morning and after that day no one saw him again. Sometimes villagers would find circumstantial evidence of leopard visits and sometime later an adult leopard would kill one or another cow and partially devour them, but no one knew for sure if it was the leopard in our story. When wildlife experts were asked how this was possible, they shrugged their shoulders. After all, nothing like this had ever happened before. However, they believed that this kind of unusual friendship between a leopard and a cow may be caused by the fact that the young leopard met the cow when it was still a long time before the hunting instincts kicked in. The cow may never have met leopards and therefore may not even know that they are supposed to be dangerous. Although other experts say that this is in the animal's subconscious and that they sense danger instinctively. People can only theorize about what it was, but the fact remains that we still know very little about nature. There is still a lot we don't understand, but I'm sure we have something to learn from this story. After all, if the most dangerous predators can coexist with their prey, why can't people do the same? Thank you for listening to the end. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and click on the bell so you do not miss any new videos. All the best to you.